Hi there, my lovelies. So Valentine's Day is quickly approaching, and while it's a day of romance for some, it's definitely not that day for everyone. I like to take it as an opportunity to brighten up someone else's spirits, like a friend or a coworker, by making them a small sweet treat. Plus, I get to wear red lipstick and look like I'm in a toothpaste commercial. You're going to want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. In a large bowl, cream your butter and sugar together for about two minutes until it's light and fluffy. I'll put all the measurements in the description below. Then you're going to want to add in your buttermilk, white vinegar, eggs, vanilla extract, and red dye together and mix thoroughly. In another bowl, I sifted all my dry ingredients, which were flour, baking soda, cocoa, and salt through a sieve. You're going to want to add this slowly to your wet ingredients. Mix until completely combined. These baking pans are 11 by 7 inches. It doesn't really matter what size baking pan you use, as long as you pour your mixture in about half an inch tall. So just pour in half your mixture into this pan and half your mixture into the other pan. So now just shake them and bang them a little bit to even out the mixture. We're gonna bake this in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. Mix your cream cheese and softened butter together. Then add your powdered sugar, vanilla extract, and salt, mixing in between each ingredient. Once you take your cakes out of the oven, make sure they're completely cooled before you work on your next step. I have a few different sized heart-shaped cookie cutters. I opted to go for the smaller one just because it's Love Bites and I think it's cute, but you can use any size cookie cutter you want for this recipe. So now that our cakes have cooled down, you're gonna wanna flip them onto your cutting surface. I have this light cutting board that I just put on top of it and it makes it easy for me to flip them over. Using your cookie cutter, cut out heart shapes and then place them on a tray you don't mind icing them on. So as I'm sure you've noticed, there's some cake left over. If you want to put that in a sealed container in the refrigerator, up next I'm going to teach you how to make red velvet cake pops using those crumbs, so I'd hate for you to miss it. Make sure to subscribe. Once we've made our icing, we're going to divide it into three bowls and then add a couple drops of food coloring to a couple of the bowls to make red, pink, and white icing. Add the icing to a piping or Ziploc bag. So now here comes the fun part, decorating our cakes. This cream cheese frosting is amazing. It's so much better than store-bought. If you make the real deal, it only takes you about five minutes and it's so much better, it's so worth it. You can make these for your coworkers or if your kids are doing a Valentine's exchange. It's so cute. These are gonna be so tasty. Mm -mm -mm. Happy Valentine's Day. Mwah. The best thing is you can decorate them differently so each person feels like they got a special one. Just for them. Voila! C'est fini. I hope that this helps you make someone else's day feel special by showing them that you were thinking of them. Make sure to subscribe because I would hate for you to miss those cake pops. Bye my lovelies!